Yes guys, welcome back to another video I'm doing here on the channel. Today we are back with another Saving the Tigers video with Gloucester City. Since the last video, things have been going well. Obviously we drew in that first game. We then went on a three game win streak in the league. Uh, but, uh, but a couple of games, the next two games were defeats. Um, well, we put in poor performances against Bromley and Hartlepool. And that's really why I'm doing the video today. Just because we started off well, we've had a couple of defeats and we'll see if we can bounce back. Um, we're tenth in the table, which I am happy with. To be fair, the board just want me to avoid relegation this season. And if we carry on playing like this, then of course uh, we will be safe and we'll avoid relegation. But we'll get straight into the game today. We're playing against Harrogate in the league. The team we're putting out there to hopefully pick up the victory is Trafford in goal. We have a back four of Hughes, Badger Army, Cashin, and Glennon. We have Thomas, Patterson and Boot in central midfield. We have McKenzie on the right, Stretton on the left and Hector Ingram up front. And um, yes, obviously hoping for the victory here today. We have struggled in the past couple of games. So today will be the perfect opportunity to get back to winning ways. Glennon whips it in, it's cleared. Glennon wins it back though. Hector Ingram shoots, good save from the goalkeeper and that's gone out for a corner kick. And we're starting off positive early on in this game. Thomas whips it in. Header by Hector Ingram at the back post. But he puts it over the bar. And what I'm actually going to do. Is I'm going to slow down. The match speed. During the highlights. Um, and yeah. Just so. Makes it easier for us to sort of see what's happening. And, and you know talk about it as it's happening. But yeah as you can see. Well, I was about to say, as you see from the top of the table, filed or winning the league, but uh, but this highlight has begun before I could say that. So in just a second, we'll see that filed are winning the league and are doing very well. Uh, but at the moment, we've got a highlight. Glennon wins the ball back, but it's giving it away. And there's the goal for Benny, Ashley Seal for Harrogate. And we are now losing. And I mean, it was... Yeah, he played it over the top, thinking Glennon's done well and win the ball back. But then, obviously, I mean, why is that massive great floodlight right in the way? Basically, it was a good goal for them. But yeah, Fylde and Hartlepool and Aldershot and Barnet, you know, just four teams within the top seven are all unbeaten so far in seven games. Not bad form. Um, hopefully they'll well, they'll be hoping that they can continue that for the rest of the season. Stratton out on the ball, plays it back to Hughes. He whips it forward, but it's cleared. Not the best of balls forward. And now here come Harrogate on the attack with Ashley Seal again. He's already scored once and he's scored again now. And uh, and yeah, there's the goal. It's 2-0. And that is counter-attacking at its best from Harrogate. They had the ball. They played it forward. There's plenty of space in behind. And Ashley Seal, Benny Ashley Seal. Um, well, yeah. Does what he does best, scores another goal. Thomas whips it in from the free kick. It's headed by Cashin and Boots attempt ricochets off the post. Um, yeah, that was the best chance we've had all game. And uh, we haven't been able to convert the, uh, the attempt from James Boot. Which... You know, this season we're going to have to take our chances better. We're going to have to become better at scoring goals if we're to survive in this division. It was, I like to call like the way we started, like the full start, in the sense that he's, you know, we start off really well um, and winning games and things are looking good, and then all of a sudden it just dips, and then you know you think, well, what, what's changed? Uh, But yeah, losing 2-0 at half-time isn't um, how I expected or wanted today's video to start um, in the first game. Plenty of, pl of our players are getting booked here. We're going to bring Chakwana on for Stretton, who's not having the best of games. Um, he's actually our top goal scorer, Jack Stretton, funnily enough. Um, three goals, I mean, it's not a lot, but you know, it's better than, better than nothing. Um, I 
But yeah, just a really difficult game here today. And you know, it's it's frustrating, but not the end of the world, I suppose. And we've managed to get the ball out there very well. That's exactly what I'm wanting from this tactic, the way we played it out and, you know, surpassed their high press and was had a, was in on goal and had a good chance and probably should do better, really. Thomas with the resulting corner. Chakwana heads it down to Cashin, whose shot is very weak indeed. And it was easy for their goalkeeper just to save that poor attempt. In the end, from... Cashin, I think it was, I just said. I just had a complete mind blank there on who had the shot. But we're going to bring Stanley on for Hector Ingram, who, I keep saying it, hasn't had the best of games. Um, a lot of our players haven't played at their full potential today, which is kind of frustrating. But yeah, defeat in the first game of the video against Harrogate, who are a good, strong side. And I think potentially will go well this season. So, so yeah, I can't be too despondent. I mean, we have a game now against Eastleigh that we just have to win. It's a must-win game now. They're 23rd in the division, or they was, um, going into the, into this game. I think we were the only really team that played, so I think they'll still be 23rd. Yeah, they are 23rd. They've only got two points to cut the draws. Five defeats and two draws. This is a must-win game for us, and, um, and yeah, I'll be back in just a second with that game. Yes, guys, that's it. We're back with the second game of the video against Eastleigh in the league. The team we're putting out there today to hope to pick up the victory is Trafford in goal. We have a back four of Burton, Badrami, Hennigan and Jurovic. We have Thomas, Defeat and Boots in central midfield. We have McKendie playing down the right. We have Stratton playing down the left. And we have Hector Ingram up front. And yeah, as I said a few moments ago, this is such an important... Um, important game for us today. We have to beat this Eastley side. Um, it, it just means that um, you know that we're above that sort of relegation candidate team as it stands. But uh, but but yeah, I mean, I really we need to end this sort of losing run. At the, I mean, you know, it would be easy if it was at our ground. Uh, and 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 as I'm saying that. A huge mistake from our goalkeeper gives Eastley the lead inside two minutes. And just have a look at this. See for yourselves. I mean, what is the keeper doing here? I don't know. Am I being too harsh? I mean, I don't think so. He should be saving that. I don't care what anyone says. He should be saving that. And we dropped down to 14th position now in the league as it stands. Um, and, and yeah, I'm not best pleased with this start to this game. Harrogate winning in their game again, so perhaps they're a team on the up and we shouldn't feel so bad about um, taking a defeat against them. And as I'm saying about the last defeat in the, the, the defeat in the last game, I can't even get my words out. I'm so excited because Jack Stratton scored. Daniel Jurovic with the assist. He's running down the line um, as, as we want him to do. He sort of cuts inside, then cuts back outside and passes it into Stratton who's taken a more central position and maybe their goalkeeper should have done better, but still, what a phenomenal strike from Jack Stratton. And we're up to 11th now. And after eight minutes, it's 1-1. Um, if he was a neutral, you'd be loving this game. Obviously, for the Gloucester and Eastleigh fans, not exactly uh, a picnic. But there we go, we've got a penalty. I was just saying that, you know, it's tough and it's not been a picnic for either fan, uh, sort of end-to-end -end football, very nerve-wracking and tough. And as I'm saying that, we've got a penalty and Thomas scores the penalty and there we go. Hooray for Josh Thomas. First goal of the season, um, was our best player last season in my opinion and he has scored it. I mean, it wasn't the best of penalties, was it? Um, in fact, it was quite a poor penalty and we're back up to 10th now which um, I'm very happy with. Um, you know, as it stands, only a couple of points behind Harrogate in the playoff spots. So, uh, so yeah, very, very positive. If we can sort of get the win in this game and, and continue moving forwards, I mean, obviously we know Eastley are a good side. And, you know, they may have, you know, five defeats and two draws this season, but they're a good side. They've got some good players and, and you know... It was the, always the possibility, or the, that you know, there still is the possibility that they could make a comeback and beat us. 
as I am saying that though, Jeremy McCundy has scored his first goal of the season and it was the assist from Lucas DeFeast, the man we've brought in um, because we wasn't overly satisfied with uh, satisfied with Patterson's performances in that box-to-box -box role, and uh, and he's got an assist now. Lucas Defees. It was Jurovic with a cross in. It was cleared well. Defees just headed it down, and uh, and McKendy finishes it off in style. Uh, he McKendy come from us, come to us after being released from Tottenham. So we know he's a good player and got some good quality there. But uh, we. We, we saw we did see it last season in stages and um, you know hopefully we can see it a lot more this season that quality's shining through he's now on the ball plays it out wide to Burton who's made the overlap he just gets there in time whips it into the box McKendie shoots and I don't even know what happened there McKendie's shot was saved and then another attempt was saved and and you know we we perhaps should have scored there but we haven't and but you know we're, we're winning three one so it's not the end of the world. But it would have been nice to get a goal there. Josh Thomas with a free kick whips it into the box. McKendie gets his head to it. It falls down to Boot. Um, he knocks it back to Burton. He plays it back out wide to Thomas, who's got loads of space out there. He runs into the box, whips it in. And it was um, a poor cross. Or was there a deflection? I'm hoping there was a deflection, because if not, that was just a dreadful cross into the box. Thomas now on the ball, plays it back to Trafford. He should be playing it out wide here. He does. Jurovic picks it up. Running now, plays it through to Stratton, who's got a bit of time on the ball. He runs with it and has the shot, and that's not the best of opportunities. Um, well, it was a good opportunity, but it wasn't the best of um, attempts there from Jack Stratton. We let him off because he has already scored today. Hennigan from the free kick plays it forward to Stratton. He knocks it back to Jurovic. What's he going to do? Whips it into the box. Defees coming in now late. Good save. Keeper saved it onto the crossbar there. Phenomenal goalkeeping there, perhaps making up for, for what I would consider an earlier mistake for our first goal. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, we are really dominating this game now and putting the pressure on Eastley. Jurovic whips the ball in. McKendie gets his head to it. Doesn't manage to get it on target. Perhaps should do better there, Jeremy McKendie. But again, we'll let him off because he's scored today. You know, I think if a player's scored and we're winning comfortably, we can't exactly moan if um, if they then miss an opportunity. Do you know what I mean? Because they've already done so much for the team. What we're going to do now, oh, I was going to make a sub or something, but we'll just watch this highlight first. Easily whip the ball into the box. Good clearance from our man, Hennigan. It falls to Boot, and Boot is now running forward at full pace. What's he going to do with it? James Boot, he gets tackled, and, you know, he, the players to his right, he should have perhaps done something more with the ball, but hasn't. Now here come Easley on the counter-attack, and it's played over the top of our defence, and their man shoots. And is that a save? Yes, it was a save, so they've got a corner, but... I'm going to make a quick substitution first. We're going to bring Hector Ingram off for Kennedy. Mikhail Kennedy coming on up front. I was recently told uh, during the week between the two games that um, that Kennedy should be placed on the transfer list as he's not good enough. Uh, so I'm hoping, or he lacks the necessary ability, I think was the words used. So I'm hoping that he can prove people wrong today and put in a good performance. We have been wor a bit worried about Connor Stanley's performances as of late not exactly been putting in, you know, playing how we'd want him to play. We're going to bring Chakwana on for McKendy down the right. Um, but yeah, I mean, Connor Stanley, like I said, not putting in performances that we want him, you know, we want him to be playing better than he is playing. And I think even the board have made a comment and said that they're a bit concerned with how how poor his performances have been recently. But not to worry for, to that for now, we've won 3-1. I just noticed that... Uh, that we had 35 attempts. You know, if that's not domination, I don't know what is. I don't know if to be a bit annoyed that we only scored three goals from 35 or whether to be glad that we had complete domination in that game. Uh, Gl Gloucester Hammer Easley, yes, we did indeed, and McKendy on form. So I'll praise Jeremy McKendy. Because um, I believe pray when it's due, praise is, you know, it's good. But yeah, I mean, up and down, really. The first game maybe made us think that it was going to be a tough Tough video today, but we pulled it back against Eastley. We've then got some, we're going to try and play through some games and potentially have this Sutton and Fylde or even Wrexham sort of here. Maybe possibly Sutton and Fylde because we've got an FA Cup fourth qualifying round here that could be important to watch. So what we might do is just play all the way through and have Wrexham and then that FA Cup game. But I'm not 100% sure. But you never know what I'm going to do next. No, I don't even know what I'm going to do. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, if you have enjoyed the video, 
I'll be very happy. I've I have enjoyed it to be fair. It started off poor, but we got back on track. Um, so yeah, I hope you have enjoyed it too, and I'll see you next time for another video. Cheers.